Welcome to Medical History with Dr. Ad E. Today, we're diving into one of the most life-saving discoveries in medical history, the discovery of insulin. How did it turn diabetes from a death sentence into a manageable condition? Let's find out. Before 1921, a diabetes diagnosis was a death sentence. But then, Banting and Best made a groundbreaking discovery. In the late 19th century, scientists like Oskar Minkowski and Joseph von Mehring had already established that the pancreas played a role in diabetes, finding that its removal led to diabetes-like symptoms in dogs. Building on the earlier research linking the pancreas to blood sugar control, Canadian scientists Frederick Banting, a Canadian surgeon, and Charles Best, a medical student in the University of Toronto, developed a method to extract insulin from dog pancreases, later refining it with the help of biochemist James Collip to make it safe for human use. The first human injection, given to 14-year-old Leonard Thompson in January 1922, was life-changing. His blood sugar dropped, symptoms reversed, transforming insulin into a life-saving therapy. It was a miracle! This breakthrough not only earned Banting and McLeod the 1923 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, but also marked the beginning of modern diabetes management, saving millions of lives worldwide. At the time, Nobel rules allowed only two recipients per prize, and McLeod was chosen because he was the department head who provided the laboratory, resources, and research guidance. Banting, believing Best deserved the honor more than McLeod, shared half of his prize money with Best. Similarly, McLeod shared half of his prize money with James Collip, the biochemist who helped purify insulin for safe human use. And that's how insulin changed the world. If you enjoyed this dive into medical history, don't forget to hit like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe for more fascinating stories from the past that still shape medicine today.